Hi, I'm Andrew, and I'm a software engineer at Pixar. I'm going to show you some of the hair workflows we developed for Incredibles 2. Someone's calling! Switching over! Hey, On a shot like this, the hair helps tell the story, so it's got to be perfect. On previous Pixar films, a hair animator would have only been able to interact with a few hundred of these sparse guide hairs, only guessing what the impact would be on the several hundred thousand real hairs in the final frames. But on Incredibles 2, we made sure that animators had access to full fidelity hair at all stages of the pipeline, making their job a lot easier. There's no baking or recording step required to see the full fidelity hair. It's just always there and always live for you to edit if you want it. Some parts of Elastigirl's hair are procedural, like the scraggle, and some parts of it are hand sculpted or simulated with physics. These blue guides are sculptable, and as you can see, you see the result immediately. Here's an old is visible here. All this hair is generated live in Presto as a result of running a stack of hair operators that's visible on the left there. That stack of operators is responsible for the scruffy look on what would otherwise be a smooth coat of hair. Let me just toggle those on and off to show you what I mean. high frame rates.